Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today I am going to start my Friday video. It's actually only Tuesday, but as you can hear from my voice, I am having my typical lifelong reaction to pollen. <laughs> if you've been here with me, you probably remember when I would lose my voice and get sick, and it's gotten to the point where I've even had sinus infections where I had to go get on antibiotics. I haven't had this in years. Honestly, I don't think I've had any allergic reactions since I started carnivore. And I'll be honest with you, we'll get into this later. I don't know when, but I'm, I know you're just probably so tired of me talking about my hair. Maybe tomorrow we'll get into this with hair products or something. But I think that that shingles vaccine, one of you reminded me of that. I think that shingles vaccine has really done a number on me because since then I have gotten COVID. I've been just, I've gotten these allergies and I just feel like I haven't been myself. And I think it's the main culprit for shedding so much hair. So we'll go into that later. But first of all, I want to do two things today. I wanted to show you this outfit that I got from Nay and it's from their new silky loungewear collection and part of their new campaign and they ask for you to include your stories is empowering women and all of the things that we juggle and i was thinking oh my gosh this is right up my alley you know i've always told you guys how much i love being a woman like when it was women's day i was like every day is woman's day for me i love it ever since i could ever remember i loved being a girl and doing girly things. I always dreamed of having my own family. And I also had other dreams too. It's like I had this dream for so many different things. And I've been so fortunate to have all these different seasons of my life, being able to celebrate being the woman I wanted to be in each one of those. One of the biggest joys has been being a stay-at-home mom. So as soon as John and I got married, I quit my job and we got pregnant just a few months later, maybe one month later, <laughs> one or two, I think. So, you know, this is the only job I have had since then. And when I started this, it was not a job. It was just because I wanted to talk to you guys about makeup and hair and fashion and everything else. So if you've followed me, you know how much I love to tell you about outfits and things that you can still feel like the woman you want to be and still be that mommy out in the front yard watering the plants or down at the bus stop picking up your kids or taking them to school and dropping them off or going to different meetings. I've always loved finding those items of clothing that you can be that comfortable mom or wife at home or go out and pick up your children, just kind of like a one and done type outfit. And this is one of those outfits. And I think that Nay is a perfect example of those things. Even their sweaters, you guys know how much I love their, just the barely zero line, the bras, the undies, and the leggings. Another way you can look good at home, feel comfortable, and still go out and do your things. Well, in today's world, I know a lot of women are working from home, either as a stay-at-home mom or you're on the computer all day. You're doing Zoom meetings like I do, Google Meets, things like that. And you still might have to stop and go out and pick up your kids, come back, jump on a meeting. So outfits like these, I think, are so valuable. So I've tried, I've already worn this one time because I wanted to tell you how it wore and how it felt. I will get up now and show you. And then one of you had the best suggestion that when I show you an outfit, that maybe I try it on with several different styles of shoes. So that is what I'm going to do today. I'm gonna to start off with one of my favorite colors of shoes, I guess, to put with anything is a pair of gold shoes. Now these are heels. So say I had this outfit on all day, I've taken my kids to school, I come home, I still feel good, I look good. What was always important to me is looking good for my husband. I wanted to know I could just run to the grocery store, all of those things. Then you can throw on your good jewelry and a pair of heels, especially these are very, very comfy, and really feel like you have got an outfit on that looks put together. You know, I love a set. I think it instantly makes you look put together, 
fashionable. I love monochromatic, same. And I love this little outfit. I love the gathered bottom or the elastic bottom because I feel like it shows off your shoes. And this comes in two different colors. Comes in a gray also. And then this one, I can't remember. It seems like it's Sandcastle maybe. And I love this hoodie. You know, I just, I've been wearing hoodies a lot. I love that it's flat in the back. So it doesn't feel like a monkey on my back. It doesn't feel like something I had to take off when I get home. And I just love it. I love the little pattern in the tank. I love how it fits. I'll put all my sizes down below. And I will also put all the information, all the discounts, everything you need to know, I will put it down below. And it's very light, silky, and feels good on. Now, I have already washed this. It does say hand wash. I washed it in my washing machine on the delicate cycle. I fluffed it just enough to get it, you know, where it feels kind of warm. Then I hung it up to dry. And then the next morning, I flipped it over. Matter of fact, I fluffed it a little bit more, turned it over, and it dried naturally. So just love it. And I think it's something that you guys would love. And it carries through the seasons. It would be a great airport outfit, all of those good things. I was just thinking too, when I was a stay-at-home mom, another important thing to me was I liked having something so comfortable on that I could take a little nap. I remember the afternoon nap and then be able to get up. A lot of times we would go out to eat and I could just, you know, have something on that I could wear out to eat. So I really think you guys would like this. You know that the bra, the Barely Zero line bra, I have the black and the nude. I love those so much. I wear them a lot in the summer because they're cool and they're easy to wash. And I also wear them to sleep in. And then the Nay leggings are just you will feel like Peter Pan. They feel so good. You'll just feel like you could fly around. So thank you to Nay for sponsoring this portion of the video. Okay, and because I don't want to keep you too long, I'm hoping by tomorrow my voice will be stronger, but I could not wait. It has been torture to me, torture to not make a video. I just, I love talking to you guys. I got the new Mario Cool Tone palette. Now, if you've been looking at my makeup and you're thinking, dag on, what is Lisa doing? Today, I did a Naomi Campbell look, an old, it's either 80s, I think 90s look. One of you suggested that I do that, and I just got a wild hair this morning, and I picked a look, and this is what I did, and I did it with this palette. I didn't wear makeup a couple of days. I, I completely, completely lost my voice. I had to install the McDonald's app to get curbside. I could not even order a Diet Coke. So this is actually the best voice I've had since I think Friday, Friday it started. And and believe me, I'm taking every medicine, Flonase, Nasacort, Allegra D, all of those things. So um, I did this look with this. Like I said, I have used it. I think this is the fourth time and I'm so glad that I used it all before I talked to you. First of all, if you love cool tones, you're gonna love this palette. It is really, really pretty. Do I think it is a must have? I would say it's a, I would give it 60% must have or must try because I do think it's really, really pretty. One day I put the gray on my lid and that was really pretty. But if I had to pick still my favorite cool tone palettes, it would probably still be the Urban Decay Naked 2. I think that one blends a little bit easier. I still really love that skin palette. And the uh, Natasha Denona Glam palette. And I, I looked at this this morning. I meant to bring it up here. But the Dior Soft Cashmere palette is beautiful. Now, here's a caveat to that. Do you love matte colors? Because this is all matte. I really tried to do a light lid today and a kind of a cut crease like that picture. And this worked very well for that. But I think if you want more of a blended, dreamy, kind of more of a subtle cool eye, I really think the Dior Soft Cashmere is one of my all time favorites. Okay, for, oh, and my hair. I have come so far with my hair. I cannot wait to tell you all the things that I've used that I think have saved it, have brought it back. I feel 200% better. And just realizing probably what it was 
and I'll go into that further. I just really kind of, I don't want to run out of voice here. I want to share with you. I cannot wait to share with you. This was almost a good thing to happen because now I can tell you what to do. And okay, my earrings are the Dean Davidson Tiger's Eye, Tiger's Eye ring, my French candy jewelry. And I wanted to show you this so I can really show you how to jazz up this outfit and really make it something special. Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. Okay, as you can tell, I'm still a little bit hoarse under the weather, whatever, but we're going to continue. I'm going to show you a few things that I got this week. I placed a big order with Ulta, and then I got some PR and some other things. And the first thing I wanted to just remind you is how good this little palette is. It's Physician's Formula. It bit the dust on our way back from Florida, but this has lasted through many out-of-town trips, and I love it, and I'm going to replace it immediately. Today, I used this little Patrick Ta blush that I actually had in my makeup closet upstairs. I was watching Dara Kaplan on Instagram, and she was saying this is one of her favorite products, and I was like, that I have that. So I used it today for my bronzer blush. You'll have to let me know what you think. If you are a fan of cream bronzers and blushes, I do think that you will like these. I think it's pretty genius that they came up with this to protect that because that was the, one of the main reasons I didn't like palettes that had cream and powder in them. So I did use this today so you could see. And I was kind of bummed because I wanted to use this that I ordered, but I knew if I used this and that, you wouldn't be able to tell which was which. So I do have on my favorite of the moment, Charlotte Tilbury blush in Climax. But look at this little Natasha Denona My Mini Dream Glow blush palette. It is gorgeous. Has that good shimmer on that side. So I will use this this week and let you know the next time I talk to you or in my favorites and stuff, how it goes. I think that's a good one. You can tell I'm still kind of down, but we will persevere. Okay, yesterday I showed you the Mario palette, and I really do like it. Like, it's one of those things, you know what I mean? Like, what somebody will say, do I need it? Is it the best, all this stuff? It's not, and you don't need it. You don't need any of this. I'm sure if you have one palette, that's all you need. But it is fun, and it is good. And today I used it again, but I tried to do just a lighter 90s supermodel look, you know, with the more cut crease and the cooler shadows. But I do really think it's worth trying. If you're a cool tone, neutral girl, you will like this. I can pretty much guarantee. Okay, and then I, I also wanted to tell you about this. This is the KVD Good Apple Foundation. Nothing new. But my friend SJ, Sarah Jane, was saying that she had ordered it because she likes the Hourglass Number 8 Ambient like I do. Matter of fact, I ordered another one. I mean, I never want to be without this stuff. That is my go-to, no fail, last all day, take out of town, looks good on camera, looks good in pictures. That's just my favorite foundation. And that shade is just extra good. But when she mentioned that, I was like, yeah, I think I remember having that and it being just the slightest bit too dark. Well, we got some sun when we were in Florida. And so I pulled it back out and this is actually tan 60 but I've been wearing it. I wore it yesterday, so in the first part of this video, and I'm wearing it today. Yesterday, I went a little too heavy-handed with the contour, which was that Physicians Formula palette, the, the lighter contour tone, just because I was kind of doing that look. But today, I just used the Patrick Ta blush for contour and this, and it's just so pretty. It's very pretty. I've used it now for three days in a row, and I'm really liking it, so just want to kind of put that out there. I also used a new concealer that SJ said she liked, and it's the Cafe Conlici. Yeah, light 2.5 maybe from the NARS. I've always used Custard. I think this is just a little bit lighter and less yellow. You have to let me know what you think. I used it today, and I actually really liked it. This is a good, like, if someone were coming to me, and they're saying, I'm 50 years old. I've never really worn makeup. Can you tell me some different things to get? For concealer, I might mention this one because it's kind of like a foolproof concealer. 
It's one of those that doesn't crease a lot, but yet it's not so opaque that it's hard to blend in. It's not too creamy. It's not too drying. It's, it's just right. So I do think that that is a great concealer. Okay, this. Remember when I was talking about looking at the sizes? Which I knew this was a mini brush, but I've got some more out-of-town trips coming up. I hope to do that. I hope to have out-of-town trips coming up. One of my goals for this year or my wishes for myself is that I would go out of town probably about once a month. And so I'm pretty much doing that. And I was thinking I might want to just throw this in my bag. I'm always trying to pack light, but I don't know if this is going to be enough for my hair. But if it isn't, you know, I'll give it to my niece. But it's the Olivia Garden. I love this brush and it's a great brush. So I'll just see, I'll use it one day and just see if it's enough. But isn't it pretty too? I'm all about that iridescent mermaidy unicorn look. And then, yes, number three of the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in Pearl Shimmer Glass. This was in my favorites. I think, I, I don't know if I've done a video without mentioning this. I don't have it on today because I wanted to go for more of that 90s supermodel, Naomi Campbell, da 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 da, Cindy Crawford, all that look with not a lot of shimmer or gloss. So I didn't use it, but I love it. And it's so creamy. Any click now, I feel like is going to be at the end of my first one. So I wanted to get more. This is the Ulta is really good about taping and packing their things nicely when they send it. This is the Wow Extra Strength Dream Coat. Do you remember when I first got this and I was like, wow, it was too extra strength. I mean, it made my hair like so slick. Well, Brooke had this with her when we went out of town to Florida and I used it and I really liked it. I don't know, you know, if it's an every time type thing for me. That's why I got the travel size because I could just, I just blow dried my hair and went and it really didn't get frizzy that day. So, and I think we even got rained on a little bit that morning. So I grabbed another one just to have. And then one of my favorite mascaras ever. I'm so glad that I did. I did a campaign with Benefit this past summer and they sent me one of these and I tried it again. And this is, I would say favorite mascaras, definitely L'Oreal Bambi Oversized Eye Mascara is number one. This is number two. It's just so good. And I'm using a full size now, but there's just something about a travel size mascara. It might be the shape of my eyes, that they're smaller, that they're so rounded and they're deep set, but I can really get closer to the roots of my lashes and not get it all over the place. So I ordered this. I'll probably wait until I use up my full size one because it's at that good point. You know how mascara just you have like maybe five or so uses where it's, you know, just okay. And then you get to that good spot. That's where it is. So I'll wait till that's over. And then let's see. Oh, did you notice my new ring? This was a surprise this week. I got it from Dean Davidson. This is the new castle ring, the mini castle ring from Dean Davidson. And as soon as I pulled it out, I thought, oh, I hope the blue one's in here. And it is. I like all of them, but I just knew I would really enjoy this blue one. Let me go get the regular size so I can compare them. Okay, I picked the first one I ever bought here at a local boutique. And that is how I became friends with Dean Davidson. And here is the difference. You can see it's just a, a little bit smaller in every way. So let's see. Okay, so you can see that it even sits a little bit lower on the hand. So if you've always loved the castle ring, but you didn't want something so big, which I say go for it, then this would be something great. Or if you want to give it to someone that's more petite or younger, that would be good, but I just love it. I think it's going to be a good stacking ring too. Okay, with my Ulta order, I did get another like shampoo comb thing because I've been using the Tangle Teaser one. And I was thinking, I think this kind that has the bristles that are bigger and more spread out might be better for me. And I can't lie, I feel kind of silly, you know, in the shower doing that. But I do know how important the scalp is. Matter of fact, 
I ordered this, which is the new Briogeo Scout Revival, Revival Rosemary Pre-Wash Oil for all hair types and scalp. So I'm going to get on this and my hair, oh my gosh, it has come a long way, but I'm not going to go into it because I want to do a separate hair video. And there is, I think, four sets of products that have really, really been impressive. But I want to kind of narrow it down and wrap up my thoughts before I do a video on it because I don't want to send you out to go get this and this and this. I want to really get a grip on it. But I'm feeling amazing. I really am. I'm feeling so much better. And I feel almost um, fortunate to be able to share it with you. So, And then if you've been here with me for a while, you probably remember this crazy thing. I used to use this years ago. I don't know, like 12 years ago. And I saw it. I thought I'm just going to try that again. It's the Bedhead After Party Super Smoothing Cream. And I do know Ulta has that big sale going on right now. I don't know what the different products are, but their sales are good. So don't forget about that. And um, this is for silky and shiny hair. It does. I remember it is kind of like that slicky, silicone -y feeling, but it gives your hair weight. I don't know if you have like finer hair like mine, sometimes it's almost has too much body and you want to give it some weight like on the ends. Typically, I use oil for that, but I just wanted to try this and just see how it does. So just blast from the past. And then I was lucky enough that Zara sent me their whole hair collection. Yes, Zara has a hair collection. I haven't tried any of these yet. I just got them. And I, a lot of them, if not all of them, are really styling products. We have the volumizing mousse, the dry texturizing spray, their hair spray, the blow dry spray, the light hair balm, and the curl activator. So let me take out the dry texture spray. Right now, the packaging is... I love Zara packaging. Wow. Okay, so here it is. Has a good nozzle, kind of like Orbe, which by the way, I love. I've only used it twice, but I love that Orbe Gold Lust Heat Spray. I love it. This is day two, sleeping on it and everything else. I love it. So, okay, let's see if it has any special instructions here. I would think that it is your typical texture spray. Let me look in the mirror. Okay. Oh, it smells good. It smells kind of fresh. Yep. I got texture. So I will use these and let you know. It's not real strong. I'm trying to think of how to compare it. It's not as strong as Orbe. It's just right in line with the rest of them that I use as far as the texture sprays. Not as strong as Dry Bar. But let me use these things and then I will let you know. I don't know how long they'll be available. If I had to guess, it's going to be a limited edition type thing. So I will try to try these very soon for you. You know, I can't let you go too many weeks without some sunglasses. I saw these on the Key website and actually they got me because there was a deal going buy one. I don't know if it was buy one, get one free or buy one, get one half or something like that. So I was going to get both of these, like both colors, and it said this style wasn't included. So I got the black ones, and I love them so much, I went ahead and got the other ones. I think the other ones are pink. They should be here soon. But my style, wrap around, sits on the nose well. So I will show you the other ones when they come in. Okay, and then last but not least, I got a package, and I have to say, when I first got this, I thought, what in the world is this? And who sent me something with holistic goddess? Because I've never been known as very holistic, but I am when it comes to the way I eat. So I quickly realized it was a good friend of mine, a, a friend of a friend, and looked at how beautiful this package is. So it says, you are an ever-renewing, ever-changing, ever-growing being. That's so true. Born with inner guidance that helps you create and maintain vibrant health and happiness live like a goddess that you are. These are different capsules 
for different things like Well Belly, uh, Brain Joy, Omega Glow. John and Brooke are both like health junkies. They love to work out. They love vitamins. John has in the mornings, he has his big cabinet full of vitamins and supplements open. So they have been waiting to get their hands on these for me to show you guys. And like sleep enhancer gummies. And this is Vibrant Bloom Hair, Skin, and Nails gummies. I think, yep, I was going to say, I think Brooke already broke into those and took some. And so thank you to them for sending this to me. And the other day I told John he couldn't wait to dig into the bison liver. If you watch, if you are carnivore, keto, or even interested, Dr. Ken Berry, I think he's my favorite. And he always talks about how nutritious liver is. And I just haven't been able to do it. But this is a way that you can do it. This is bison liver. This is bison heart and bison trifecta. The funny thing is, John thought these were the bison like meat chips or chews, but they're actually, it's, it's even better for someone like me. They're actually capsules, like bison heart capsules that you can take and that way you get the nutrition. Now it's 100% grass fed and finished, non-GMO, freeze dried, free of vaccines, antibiotics and hormones dietary supplement. Thank you so much to the Holistic Goddess for including me, and I will list their website down below. It might be something you find interesting, and I'm so impressed with your packaging. I think this is good to make something like this look pretty because it is part, being healthy is part of being pretty. Okay, you guys, the dress I have on is just one of those that I showed you from H&M. I will link that video down below. Today, my parents have gone out of town for the day. I'm going to go take care of their dogs and go do a few things and then take it easy because ah, I don't want to stop making videos for very long. So I need to quit talking for a little bit. So thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.